Hi guys. Um, <clears throat> today we are going to finish up our unit that we started a while ago on op art. So optical illusion art. Um, I believe I told you guys at the beginning that this was going to probably be the easiest op art project out of all of them that we'll do. Um, and I think it's a lot of fun because I really love the artist um, that I'm teaching you guys about today. Um, his name is Thank You X. And so today we are going to be answering a bunch of questions together. Um, so you can think of these as like our learning targets for today. Um, we're going to answer the question, who is Thank You X? What type of art does he create? Why is he known as Thank You X? How can I identify the theme in his artwork? So we're going to talk about what his art has in common. Um, with each other, right? So some common themes in his art. And then we are going to create something inspired by Thank You X, but we're going to make it unique to you. Um, so we're not just copying his work, we're making it our own. Um, okay, so this is Thank You X. He is an LA-based street artist. And so one of the questions that I have for you guys today is, what is a street artist? Now, the answer that some of my students came up with um, this week was like a graffiti artist or someone who paints on the street, um, which is absolutely correct, right? Except for, I would probably not teach you about an artist who worked illegally, right? Who wasn't a great example. Um, my goal is always to teach you guys about artists that are good role models um, and that are um, good for kids to be learning about, right? So Thank You X is an LA-based street artist, so he does make art on the street, but the difference between him and a graffiti artist is one, his content is appropriate. So everything that you will see today and everything that you probably Google about him, um, his art is all totally appropriate. And two, he always has permission to paint where he paints. So he does not paint illegally. He does not paint on the side of buildings when people don't want him to paint there. Um, he always has permission from the owner first. So those are really important for you guys to understand. Um, so he is an artist in LA, which is Los Angeles, California. Um, Thank you, X is his alias. What is an alias? All right. So before I answer that question, I want you to answer a question that I bet you know the answer to. Who is Peter Parker? Did you guys answer Spider-Man? Because if you did, you'd be correct. Yeah, Peter Parker or Spider-Man. Spider-Man is Peter Parker's alias, right? If Peter Parker went around as Peter Parker, um, everyone would know who he was and his true identity would be um, revealed, right? But it works for him to be called Spider-Man and to wear a costume so that people don't know who he is. Um, it protects his true identity. Um, that's why street artists use um, aliases, is to protect their true identity. Now, one thing that my students pointed out this week is most people probably know who Thank You X is. I personally don't know his real name, um, but I bet you a pretty quick Google search would answer that um, because he is so famous and so popular and internet makes it pretty easy to find out who people are, right? Um, his identity probably isn't a seeker anymore, but he still goes by the name Thank You X when he's creating his art. All right, so this is one of Thank You X's first pieces of art that he created. Um, and it is a portrait of the artist Andy Warhol, which is another one of my favorite artists. Um, and he did a lot of work in the beginning um, as like a tribute to Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol was somebody that he really admired. It was an artist that he really admired. And so in 2009, he created this portrait of Andy Warhol and he made it with spray paint and a stencil and he signed it thank you like he wrote thank you under it as in like thank you Andy Warhol for being a fantastic artist for influencing my life and my art and then an anonymous way to sign your name if you don't have an alias is with an x and so he signed an anonymous x um which 
then people and art critics and art blogs and all of that saw it and was like, oh, thank you, X, did another tribute to Andy Warhol. Oh, thank you, X, um, has another art piece. And he's like, oh, I guess, I guess I'm thank you, X. And so the alias was given to him accidentally. He didn't choose to be thank you, X. Um, it kind of just happened, which is kind of funny. Um, all right, so like I said, it was just a gesture of gratitude. And then Thank You X became the artist's alias. All right, so now on to his cube murals. These are what made the artist famous. Um, this is a more abstract style. So what abstract means is that it's not realistic. It doesn't look like, you know, a tree or a house or whatever. It's more about shapes and color and lines. Um, so this is his new abstract style. And these cube paintings, like I said, have been a huge success for the artist. People love his cube paintings. They come from all over to see his cube paintings and to get their picture taken with them. Um, they're pretty sweet. So here is some more of Thank You X's art and a couple pictures of Thank You X with his art. Um, his art isn't only on the street. He has um, created art um, around Los Angeles that is in galleries and museums. Um, and like I said, so his artwork started popping up around Los Angeles. People started noticing. People were taking pictures and posting them on Instagram and Snapchat, right? And then telling their friends like, oh, you got to check out this new mural by Thank You X. And then they would go and they'd check it out. Um, and they'd take their picture by it and put it on their Instagram or Snapchat. Um, and so soon businesses started commissioning him to paint murals and collaborations. So what does that word commissioning mean? You guys know? So it's when businesses pay or people pay an artist to create art for them. Um, so if I owned Mrs. Bergman's coffee shop and I wanted more people to come to my business, one strategy might be to hire an artist like Thank You X to paint a cool mural on the side of my coffee shop because then people would want to come see the mural, take their picture by it, and then they would tag, you know, Mrs. Bergman's coffee shop, this cool new mural, and then they might come in and drink some coffee while they're taking a picture outside by my coffee, by the mural and then their friends see their post on Instagram and are like, oh, that's a cool mural. I'm going to go check that out. So then they go check it out and then they go buy a cup of coffee, right? So it's good for the business, right? Because they're getting more people to come to their place, right? And it's also good for the artists because they're getting paid to create these murals. And it also gives them more places uh, for their murals to be, right? It gives them more places to paint. So it's kind of a win-win um, and an interesting business strategy, right? So more and more businesses started paying Thank You X to come and paint on their buildings, um, which just in turn made Thank You X even more popular and more famous. And so now he is internationally recognized, which means his name is known around the world. He has painted murals, not just in Los Angeles, California, but all across the United States and all across the world. And people come from all over the world to see his art. And like I said, his art is also in galleries all over the world. So it's not just street art anymore. He does have some art like the ones that you see on this screen um, that are indoors. All right, so here's a couple more of his cube murals. What common theme do you see in this artwork? So some of my students were saying this week, um, those bright colors, right, are a common theme. They're what they see in all of his artwork. He does not use dull or dark colors besides black, of course. Um, but his colors are very bright. They stand out, which I think is what helps make his art so popular, right? Because you're walking along the street and you see this bright, bold, beautiful mural and you're like, oh, I got to take a picture in front of that, right? Or I want to go check out more of his art. So people really like his bright colored paintings. So another common theme are that they are, those colors are bright. And of course the cubes, um, 
which brings me to the elements of art. So things like the line, the shape, and the color, um, those are things that he uses a lot, right? Lines, shapes like the cubes, and lots of bright color. And pattern, of course, right? So you see a lot of repeated patterns, um, like the diamonds that are the one side of the cube repeated over and over again. Some of my students were saying how they see polka dots in a lot of his art. Um, these are some of my favorites of his. The one with the flags is probably one of my most favorite. Um, and the reason for that is because he is famous around the world. People know his art um, around the world. And I just imagine people from Israel and Brazil and Canada and Switzerland coming and seeing this mural. And then when they stand in front of it, right, they're looking for their flag. Um, and it's kind of a cool thing because a lot of my students this week when I showed them this um, picture and maybe you guys just did the same thing, right? You immediately go, oh, I found the United States or, oh, I found Canada or, oh, I found Mexico, right? Because those are some of the most familiar to us because um, they're the closest to where we live. Um, and so I just, I love this one because, yeah, I imagine people from all over the world coming and seeing his art and finding their flag from their home um, on this mural. And I think that that's pretty special um, and pretty cool. All right. So um, this is about where I'm going to end this video. I'm going to post these YouTube videos that I have in this presentation for you guys to watch. Um, one of them is an interview with Thank You X, and he talks a little bit about his life, why he paints the things that he does. It also goes into a little bit more detail of how he got the name Thank You X and how he became famous. Um, and then the second video that I'm going to post for you guys is a short, like, two-minute video. Um, the music, it's just music. There's no talking or anything like that. And it is um, the process of how he made this mural that you see in this slide um, that he's sitting on, on that wall. So you guys will get to see the video of how he painted that one and the time lapse of how it all came together. And I think they're both really, really cool videos that you guys are really going to enjoy. Um, and then from there, I will post another video for you guys how um, to explain how you guys are going to do this week's project to wrap up op art. So hopefully you guys enjoyed learning about Thank You X with me. Um, I think he's a pretty sweet artist that um, makes some pretty awesome art. And one of my life goals is to go to Los Angeles and kind of do a tour and see um, as many of his different murals as I can, because I think it would be so cool to see one of these in real life. Um, okay, guys, this is getting long. So thank you for sticking with me and learning something new today. Uh, please watch the next couple of videos, learn a little bit more about Thank You X. The one where you watch him make the mural is just fantastic and you're gonna love it. Um, and then yeah, of course, stick around and create the project with us too. All right. I'll talk to you later.